Titanic You probably know the story of the great irony of the Titanic. The ship hailed as unsinkable sank after it struck an iceberg on its very first trip across the Atlantic Ocean. In hindsight, it seems almost silly that anyone would assume that a ship weighing more than 50,000 tons, when fully laden, was unsinkable. And indeed, many mythbusters have claimed that few people were actually calling the ship unsinkable before it sank. On the night of April 14, 1912, just four days after leaving Southampton, England on its maiden voyage to New York, the Titanic struck an iceberg off the coast of Newfoundland and sank. Now, more than a century after the Titanic went down, experts are still debating possible causes of this historic disaster that took the lives of more than 1,500 passengers and crew. A team of American and French researchers have found the hulk of the luxury liner Titanic south of Newfoundland. Scripps Institution of Oceanography Research Oceanographer Jules Jaffe, who was a member of the team that found the wreckage of the Titanic in the 1980s, a French announcement said the wreck was found at a depth of more than 12,000 feet. Tourist Submersible OceanGate's only submersible able to reach the Titanic's wreckage is called the Titan, a carbon fiber and titanium vessel that can reach 13,123 feet, the company says on its website. According to OceanGate, a 22-foot, 23,000-pound vessel designed with life support to sustain five crew members for 96 hours. The submersible set off on its descent Sunday but soon lost contact with its support ship as it neared the end of what was due to be a two-hour dive. OceanGate recently tweeted that, a missing submersible with five, five people on an expedition to the Titanic wreckage was using Starlink Internet to communicate with the research ship before it went missing. Oxygen is running out. The search for the missing submersible with five people on board has been ongoing since it disappeared on an attempted dive to visit the wreck of the Titanic. Now, time is against the rescue mission. The multination search continues to find the 22-foot submersible that disappeared Sunday several hundred miles off the coast of Canada destined for the Titanic's wreckage in the North Atlantic. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.